Hey, it's Mr. Brown Thumb, and this is just a standard 2 liter soda bottle. Now, a number of years ago, I created a post on my garden blog called The Ghetto Greenhouse, and I demonstrated how you can use these to start seeds. And I prefer the bottles that have just the cylindrical sides, not the ones that have the hourglass shape. The newer Coke bottles, those don't work as well for this. I'll explain in a bit. Now the first thing you do is you cut your bottle in half and once you have the top half you can just set that aside but you take your bottom half and you cut three slits into the side and then you want to cut drainage holes in each of the little feet of the bottle like so this allow water and excess moisture to drain out to prevent your seedlings from rotting or staying too wet. The next step is to fill the bottom half with soil and plant your seeds. And here's what a ghetto greenhouse with a seedling in it looks like. As you can see, there's plenty of condensation on the inside, so I don't need to water a lot and it's closed and the reason for the slits on the side is so that you can fit the top half inside of it and it creates a pretty sturdy enclosed greenhouse that doesn't come off easily see I'm trying to pull it apart but you can do it if you put enough force in it you can take it off and your seedling is inside now if you find that you have too much condensation in your bottle the first thing you want to do is remove the cap I usually don't put the cap at all but if you have too much condensation you can always just lift off the top portion and let it vent out you create little vents on the side and if you're experiencing rain or cold weather you can always just slide it back down to close it and I use these to start seeds inside in my windowsills in the winter time in the spring and summer I'll take these outdoors and I'll sow seeds in them so if you're looking for a cool project or a way to winter sow or just to start seeds in general build yourself a little ghetto greenhouse thanks for watching